I was till I put on the mask. If I pull that off, will you die? It would be extremely painful. What's up guys, it's your boy TMI, I am the Mass Investor, welcome back to the channel, hopefully you guys had yourself a decent day, there's a lot of things going on here guys, what I do want to run through is what we have this week coming up here, what the markets look like, what AMC looks like, I also want to go through, it's a very tricky time in the market right now, and I do have a Discord that's live, the link's in the description, but for those of you guys who aren't as familiar with me, who just kind of want to, you know, do your own thing, I do want to start giving you guys a few different tips and tricks to help you guys along the way, um, the mission really is to help as many people as possible, so at the end of this video, whether you guys want to stay tuned or not, that's where I'm going to put a few different tricks for how you could have played the spy today, and if you guys can highlight these things throughout the day moving forward this week hopefully you guys can also be successful in the market and uh, make yourself a little bit of money all right and if you guys do make money doing that then just uh, feel free to come back to the channel and smash the like button that's all i ask in return all right so uh without any further ado guys let's get into this video today so first things first guys the overall market looks a little bit crazy i did see some huge updates coming from the man the myth the legend the shill over there at jpm we'll get into that a quick second there but the market at this point in time at 3 59 p.m the market is about to close is red okay we did see lower lows i was looking for this level here of 360 to be broken with a spy and it did come down a few different times there to see lows of almost the new 52 week lows again guys this is not looking very bullish for the spy right now but let's kick things off right here guys rumors that we could be going into a global recession in the next six to nine months watch this so i think you gotta put two things in mind here currently right now the u.s economy is actually still doing well consumers have money you know, fiscal stimulus, they still have more than they had before. They're spending 10% more than last year, 35% more than pre-COVID. Their balance sheets are in great shape. Yes, debt's gone up a little bit, but not nearly to pre-COVID levels. And therefore, even if we go into recession, they're going to be in much better shape than 08 and 09. Companies are in good shape. Credit's very good. Uh, markets are still open, though, rocky and stuff like that. But you, gotta, you, you can't talk about the economy without talking about the stuff in the future. And this is serious stuff, okay? This is inflation, which obviously is, you know, changing the effect of those numbers I just told you about. It's rates going up more than people expected already and probably a little bit more from here. It's QT, which we've never had before. Uh, so therefore, the unknown effects, and you see it today in bond markets around the world and sovereign markets and people selling U.S. Treasury debt, and it's the war. And these are very, very serious things, which I think are likely to push the U.S. Uh, and you know, the world. I mean, Europe is already in a recession. And they're likely to put U.S. in some kind of recession six, nine months from now. Now, I think, you know, everyone would say, and you guys let me know in the comment section below, do you guys think we are already in a recession? I, I, I would think that, you know, we are already in a recession. I think we've been in a recession. I think if this is not a recession right now and what they're currently looking at is a recession in six to nine months from now, that's going to be a depression. That honestly and truthfully will be. But that being said, um, you know, there was a fake rumor today about the war that kind of had the markets pumping a little bit and then that was taken back. Uh, we'll get into that later on, but let's keep this going. If we do see the U.S. go into recession, how severe do you expect it to be and how long do you expect it could last? Yeah, well, this is the thing no one ever really knows, right? You have a strong consumer going into it. Businesses are in pretty good shape, but they were amazingly resilient during COVID. You know, even the ones that, that had no government support and stuff, Stuff like that. And I think governments did do a hell of a job getting the thing to recover. So we don't know. I mean, you, you have, now you have to look at the range of outcomes. It can go from, you know, very mild to quite hard and, and a lot. This guy's smiling as he says that. It can go to pretty mild to quite hard. I mean, we'll, we'll, you know, rely on what happened to this war. Mm -hmm. So I think, you know, to guess is hard, be prepared. And, and, and but the one guarantee which we've been consistent about is volatile markets. You're going to have volatile markets. You've already seen markets down quite a bit. No IPOs, very little high yield. Bridge loans being hung and stuff like that, which is pretty typical, but it's still been orderly. I think it's possible you're going to see it be disorderly sometime in not not too near future. How do you think the Fed is doing in managing this whole situation? Well, let me give them credit for what they did in COVID. And I hate to second guess people because I think it's easy for everyone to do. In hindsight, you know, it, they waited too long and did too little, and QT should have started sooner and all that, but they're clearly catching up. I agree. They're clearly motivated to catch up, and, you know, from here, we let's all wish them success and keep our fingers crossed that they, that they manage to slow down the economy enough that doesn't, you know, to cause it, whatever it is is mild. And it's possible. I wouldn't take that off. I think, the, like I said, the far more serious thing is this war, far more serious than the short-term effect of the economy and things like that. 
All right, guys. So we did also see that Elon Musk was tweeting um, about, you know, trying to think of different ways to avoid this war. That is a huge part of what's going on right now. And in the minds of many, if there is a solution to war, I can definitely see the markets shifting to the bullish side very quickly. And if we could potentially see something along those lines before the middle of winter, because we're not really talking about it right now, but Europe's going to go through a huge issue with this war as it gets colder and colder and colder in Europe. And I do think that uh, several different countries in Europe will be pressed to find a solution more than they ever have been before as they do go have people going hungry, going cold, and the combination of both is going to get things very restless over there in several different countries that will be urging their leadership team to do what it takes to find a solution to that energy crisis. But that being said, guys, let's get back to this uh, market. And if you haven't yet, guys, do me a quick favor. Smash the like button, engage the video. I should have asked earlier if I did not. My apologies. That's where we are with the SPY right now, guys. Let's take a look at AMC. Okay, we did typically see one of those AMC days where early in the morning, everything is up almost 5%. I think it was actually up more than 5% early this morning, but we did see it pull back with the rest of the market as the market did see almost a dip down to see 52 week lows that being said amc didn't do too poorly to be honest with the exception of the fact that we didn't do much at the end of the day whatsoever and we had a very bull start to the day the day before they prior to this last week friday that was a very ugly day for the market but we also saw you know the spy come down to new lows again so we, we you know we kind of saw that expected i did see this uh 633 level come down today finally we are looking for that level to get tested it did test once twice and three times roughly it did break down the first time and that was almost at open it's very volatile at open um, and then it kind of shot right back up there so buying pressure is obviously there below that 633 level i think that's very important i think it's you know worth noting i do also have a level below that of 596 so just going to give you guys a quick highlight here for how much percentage to the downside we could potentially see um, if things get bad in the markets uh, we still got another six uh, 0.6% left before we see the um, the 52 week lows for AMC and that's of course you know dialed into a, a post split price range. Okay, so there's all that guys. Also coming up this week we do have uh, PPI coming out Wednesday. We have FOMC minutes coming out on Tuesday uh, on Wednesday at 2 p.m. Uh, we have core CPI, CPI monthly, yearly, the initial jobs claim. We have crude oil inventories. We have uh, the core retail sales. We have retail sales month over month. Several different updates. So every single day during the pre market, guys, keep an eye on the markets at 8:30. Now to end off this video, guys, I do want to walk through the spy and how people could have made money today in the spy. Um, I think it's just this is worthwhile. This is you know it's 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 worth taking a look at if you have not uh, figured it out you know, how to kind of, you know, make money in the market as you guys are either watching or waiting or learning or whatever it might be. So first things first, guys, let's take a look at this, okay? Today, with the SPY, um, I did see a nice opportunity here with a nice double top, almost like tweezer tops here, but not quite, they weren't really connected. Uh, you did see the spike here at 1027 with the RSI in the one minute at 68. Following that, you had um, a nice little, tri uh, you know, an attempt to regain that same high there at, uh, at 1031 with the RSI coming down to 60. Okay, so we had a huge decline at the RSI. Uh, you had an opportunity here to recognize that there was a potential little double top here. And from there, you end up getting a substantial downside. Now, where you take advantage of that downside, you know, that's up to your own discretion, but there's a $3.6 pullback, a 1% market pullback. Even if you got into that move a little bit late in around 361, you could have still got in on some puts or play the rejection level from that downside. Now, that's one. The second opportunity I saw here in the market was, you know, to get in on this nice little wedge pattern here. So, I'm just going to draw this out for you guys really quickly. You guys can always, you know, do with it as you see fit. So here we saw a nice opportunity for somebody to potentially take advantage of this play. Now, this right here was downward momentum coming from the market saying, hey, I'm trying to go down. And then you had a nice little consolidation pattern here. And once this broke down, you could have got in on that breakdown and play the continuation of that downside. Now, when you have this, it's like a bear flag, right? Which means you have that bearish motion, it flags out, consolidates and continues to break down. This breakdown is roughly 65 to 70 percent chance of actually breaking in that direction. So if you guys do notice these plays in the future, hopefully you guys can take, take, you know, take advantage of them and learn how to make yourself some money in the market. All right. So that's what we got for you guys today. Just a quick update and a quick little, you know, tips and tricks that had to maneuver in the market, a few different days to look out for, what levels to keep an eye out for AMC. And of course, a huge update there from JP Morgan on the recession that should be incoming in around six to nine months. All right. So my name is TMI guys. I am the mass investor. Thank you guys very much for tuning in. If you guys have not yet, guys, feel free to check out the Discord. Discord. We are going to change the prices at the end of this month. I cannot remind you guys enough because I don't want you know people to get caught slipping. Feel free to check it in there before. I am in the Discord every day calling out plays like this. Um, we also have a live streaming trader in there in the mornings for a couple of hours. Jake's take, so feel free to check us out, guys. Um, and that's it. All right. Much love, guys. Catch you guys on the flip side.